Your kids are much happier without you. They told me that they don't even want to see you and that just being around you makes them miserable. When I saw those words come across the screen of my iPhone, I felt like I'd been kicked in the gut. That text was from my ex-wife's new husband. The man who isn't even the father of my kids is now raising them in my place. The man that my kids preferred to live with over me. The worst part is I knew he was right. I don't know if it was a midlife crisis or what, but I couldn't get my act together. It was as if a little rain cloud was following me around like you see in the cartoons. I looked at the pictures of my kids on the wall and I just lost it. There I was, a grown man, laying on the floor of his studio apartment in the fetal position crying like a baby. I couldn't bear the thought of another man raising my children, especially when they didn't even want me to visit on the weekends anymore. The doorbell rang, but I couldn't even pull myself off the floor to answer it. At one point, I was even laying in a pool of my own vomit and tears, but I was helpless. The only thing I could think about was my kids hating me, and that they preferred this guy as a father over me. But why would they want to spend time with me? Their new dad had everything they could ever want. He owned a successful business in town and had amassed millions. I suspect that's why my wife left me for him. Now they lived with him on his 80-acre horse ranch and went wakeboarding on his boat every weekend at the lake. I was barely scraping by as a mechanic at the Ford dealership, working on cars that I couldn't even afford to buy. My studio apartment is pretty bare and I can't afford to take them out to do fun things when they come to visit. I was a loser in every sense of the word. This might sound strange, but that day was the turning point for me, where my life went from resembling a dumpster fire to me living my absolute best life and finally doing all the things I really wanted to do for my whole life. And I thank God every morning when I wake up for letting the awful relationship with my kids open my eyes to a whole new world of possibilities. Because what happened next is one of the craziest stories you'll ever hear. My life took the most unexpected turn imaginable. And even though it's incredibly painful to relive that time of my life, I feel like it's my duty to God to tell this story so that it may help others. That text led to a discovery that probably saved my life. And the story that followed is one fit for Hollywood. The good news is, it can give you the same results with this simple 15-minute daily habit all from the comfort of your own home so that you can manifest the life you've always wanted to live instead of just settling for a life that you tolerate or in my case one that you hate just imagine being able to repair the broken relationship in your life or forming healthy new ones giving you a reason to live again or maybe for you it's finally getting that raise that you've been waiting for erasing your never-ending anxiety about paying bills so you can finally feel at peace and sleep at night Not to mention saying goodbye to that awful feeling in your gut while you wait to see if your debit card is going to be declined at the grocery store and wondering if you're going to have to do the walk of shame away from the register again. Picture waking up next to your soulmate every morning because you've finally gotten off the dating carousel and found the perfect partner for you. Ending the cycle of broken relationships and heartache for good. You'll be able to make up for lost time and finally see the places you've dreamed of visiting your whole life. If you've ever thought to yourself, this isn't how my life was supposed to turn out, then pay close attention to what I'm going to share with you today. Because this discovery is exactly what you've been waiting for your whole life, even if you didn't realize it. And as you'll see, it has nothing to do with meditation, expensive therapists, dangerous pills, prayer, the law of attraction, astrology, or any of that other woo-woo stuff. But instead, it has to do with a wave frequency in your brain. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can change your brain frequency with this simple 15-minute daily habit. No work required. Keep watching to learn how I went from a suicidal deadbeat living in squalor, a person so pathetic that his own children preferred another man to be their father, to becoming a happy, successful person that was able to repair even the most broken relationships in my life and lifting myself out of the cycle of poverty that I was in and how you can use it even if you've never considered yourself spiritual a day in your life. No matter how bad your life seems right now, I promise this solution can work for you. Imagine never feeling jealousy again because you felt like you got the short end of the stick in life, but instead leaving victim mode behind for good and living a life that makes your friends, family, and colleagues jealous of you. Picture the look on their faces as you leave your cushy corner office at 10 a.m because your dream 
victim spouse is picking you up to head to the airport for your latest trip to Maui. You can only laugh as your colleagues tease you about taking another trip to the islands, while they are stuck behind holding down the fort again. This type of life is entirely possible thanks to this simple 15-minute daily habit, a habit so powerful that it was covered up by the church for over 2,000 years until a brave ex-priest uncovered secret teachings from Jesus Christ himself, teachings that reveal how to reprogram your brain so that you can manifest God's blessing into your life, just like the miracles Jesus performed during his time on earth. But you don't need to be Jesus-like to manifest these blessings. As long as you have your hearing, you can manifest whatever you want in life, just like Jesus did two centuries ago. Don't you ever wonder why some people seem to catch all the breaks, while others seem to have a rain cloud following them around all the time? Why do bad things happen to good people? Well, life may seem unfair, but I have good news for you today. I know this may sound too good to be true, but if Jesus could walk on water, heal a paralyzed person, and give a blind man sight, or do any other miracles that he manifested, then you can manifest a better life for yourself. You have that power. Jesus said so himself in the Bible. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it will obey you. Luke 17, 6. And this, very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these, because I am going to the Father. John 14, 12. Here are just a few success stories from people just like you. It feels like 10,000 pounds were lifted off my shoulders. I was barely scraping by with my job at the convenience store. I didn't know what to do. I feel lost in life and thinking that I might be in the exact same position in a few years from now was absolutely terrifying. But now that I'm able to manifest my need in life, it feels like 10,000 pounds were lifted off my shoulders. Amanda S., Madison, Wisconsin. It's improved all my relationships. Most importantly, my kids have welcomed me back into their lives again. This made a night and day difference in my quality of life, and to think I almost didn't buy because I didn't really have the money at the time. But the results are priceless. No amount of money could change my life in this manner. Braden M., Baltimore, Maryland. Now I'm living a life that I actually love. I used to work in a factory here in town making $12 an hour. It was soul-sucking work for little pay, and I always had to work mandatory overtime. Now, I'm living a life that I actually love and finally have a fulfilling career that keeps my family and I well taken care of. Maria P., San Diego, California. Hi, my name's Marcus. The 31 years since I graduated high school were rough. I always struggled to make a living, and it got to be more than I could handle once I had a family. The family that eventually left me all alone in a pit of despair. I mean, I'd been divorced three times, but this last one shook me to my core. We had three beautiful kids together, but I guess she just got tired of the constant struggle. Tired of applying for food stamps just to feed the family. Tired of sending our kids to the worst schools in the state because we couldn't afford to move out of the slums. Tired of working two and three jobs without ever taking a vacation or even having a weekend off. I can't say that I blame her, though, to be honest with you. It was a miserable existence, and it's not what either of us wanted for our kids. The day after I got that text, I started evaluating the other areas of my life and looking at all the things I'd never done even though I'd always wanted to. My bucket list was basically one giant list with nothing checked off. I'd lived half my life already and hadn't done anything I actually wanted to do. Maybe my wife and kids would have stayed if I weren't such a loser. Plus, I sure as hell didn't want to keep working my crummy job at the Ford dealership anymore. And I never wanted to go back to that apartment ever again. I wanted a house that I could live in with my kids. What I really wanted was to have a life worth living, one where I could do things that actually fulfilled me, to have a happy family and healthy relationships, to do all the things I dreamed of doing before real life kicked in and doomed me to a life of sadness, misery, and settling. I tried everything, but my life never improved. No matter what I tried, I always seemed to be spinning my wheels. I'd been stuck in my dead-end job for the past 15 years, and yet I was still barely scraping by, making $13 an hour. Sure, my boss promised me the moon during every feedback session, but when it came time for a raise, I got nothing but excuses, which made it impossible to move out of the crummy, roach-infested apartment I loathed so much. It felt like I was a slave to the slumlord, who never bothered fixing anything, because he knew I couldn't afford to move elsewhere or hire a lawyer. 
And one of the worst parts is that now I was doing this all on my own. I felt an overwhelming sense of loneliness. On the worst days, I felt like life weighed 12,000 tons. Maybe you can relate. Maybe, like me, you've been prescribed expensive pills that helped for a little while. But then the honeymoon phase wore off. They didn't really work anymore. Besides, while they did numb the pain a bit, they didn't actually improve my situation. It was just a band-aid, just like the alcohol was. Another one of my crutches. And with equally as bad side effects. I even tried meditation, but I just couldn't get it to work for me. It just seemed like a lot of work, and I never got it. I was starting to think that giving up on suicide was a mistake. Until one day, I decided that I'd had enough. I craved and invited my own death. I was at a point where I dreaded getting out of bed every morning. I wasn't playing to win. I was playing not to lose. Life seemed pointless. The idea of doing anything that made me happy was a pipe dream. Not while my kids were being raised by another man. And that bucket list would be better used as toilet paper. So I decided to head down to the hardware store and get some rope. I was going to hang myself. But when I got to the store, they still had 20 minutes before they opened. That's when I noticed a coffee shop next door that I'd never seen before. I felt some strange energy pulling me in. It was a strange energy that I'd never felt before. So I decided to go have a cup of coffee until the hardware store opened up. Now I don't know if God sent me to this coffee shop or not. But what happened that day changed the course of my life forever. When I walked in, I saw a man sitting at a little round table with his eyes closed and some earbuds in. I spotted him immediately because he had a tattoo of a priest collar on his neck. I figured he was meditating and thought it was a bit odd to be meditating in public. But hey, what do I know? But just a few minutes later, he opened his eyes. When he bent down to tie his shoe, he started laughing. That was fast. He immediately got up to order a coffee. Intrigued, I got in line behind him. What kind of meditation were you doing? I asked. Oh, I wasn't meditating. I was just trying to tune my brain. When I got here, I realized that I left my wallet at home. So I was trying to manifest a cup of coffee. And when I went down to tie my shoe, this $5 bill was lying there. Someone must have dropped it walking by. It wasn't there when I sat down. I remember reading about manifestation in the Bible. And I know that Jesus manifested all kinds of miracles. But this guy? So you just wished for $5 and it suddenly found that $5 bill? Well, not exactly, but I did manifest this coffee, and that's just the way God chose to do it. Why don't you come sit down at my table when yours is ready? I'll tell you more about it. I'll never forget the story he told me at the table that day. I used to be a priest in the Catholic Church. In 2017, I had the pleasure of visiting the Vatican to meet Pope Francis for outstanding service in my church. It was a dream come true for me, and I was so excited and honored. Well, it just so happened that the same week I was visiting the Vatican, new writings were discovered by biblical scholars at the prestigious Oxford University. The writings talked about secret teachings to his brother James, teaching where Jesus reveals information about the heavenly realm and future events. I didn't know what that meant yet, but I was intrigued and excited that I was at the Vatican so that I could discuss this breaking news with the highest level authorities in the world. The next evening, I had dinner with the Pope as part of my celebration. There were loads of high-ranking bishops and other members of the church there. About halfway through the dinner, I worked up the courage to ask Pope Francis what the newly discovered writings meant. His demeanor flipped like a light switch. I was told never to bring up the subject again and that those writings were heretical, meaning they went against the word of God. I was confused. I thought everyone would be excited to discuss the new discovery. The mood for the rest of the dinner was off. No one made eye contact with me for the rest of the evening, until I got back to my quarters, when suddenly an elderly priest slipped in and closed the door. What he told me that night floored me. He said that those newly discovered writings were part of a secret document that showed how to manifest miracles like Jesus did. That's what the heavenly realm and future events part was referring to. So if you knew how to get in tune with God's frequency, you could manifest anything your heart desires, which is obviously incredibly powerful. Problem is, the church didn't want this information to get out. They were afraid it would fall into the wrong hands and be used for evil, so they covered it up for nearly 2,000 years. I think he could tell that I was a little skeptical because he actually pulled out his iPhone and showed me some pics he managed to sneak. Luckily, I'm able to read Greek, and there it was in print, right in front of my eyes. 
Jesus telling his brother exactly how he could manifest miracles so that he could carry on after Jesus' death. And there were way more letters than what were famously discovered at Oxford University a few years ago. I spent about 15 jaw-dropping minutes reading the letters, trying to process what I was reading, and the fact that the church had been covering up this information for two centuries. Before the old priest left my quarters that night, he told me to drop the subject. I was instructed not to bring it up again, for my own safety. I tossed and turned all night with this knowledge rolling around in my head. After a sleepless night, I got ready to meet the Pope one final time at a ceremony recognizing my service. But I just couldn't stop thinking about what the old priest had told me the night before, and this would be my last opportunity to talk to the Pope in person. I couldn't let this opportunity pass me by. I had to ask the Pope if this was true. When I asked him about the teachings, and if what I heard was true, the ceremony was abruptly canceled before it even got started. I was escorted out of the building and promptly sent back to the States. After I got home, I was notified by my lead priest that I was banned from the church for life. My priesthood revoked. I saw everything that I worked so hard for evaporate in the blink of an eye. But after seeing Jesus' secret teachings for myself, I knew I had to look more into this. After I picked my jaw up off the floor, I had to know more. I asked the ex-priest, So what's the deal? How come I haven't been able to manifest anything worthwhile? My entire life has been a complete failure, and I've tried praying to God, meditating, practicing the law of attraction, all of it. Let me see if I can explain using an analogy. Did you ever listen to the radio in your car? I do. I love to listen to the news in the morning on the way to work. Me too, but unfortunately I broke my antenna off in the car wash the other day. And now, I can't tune into any stations. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, well, what really sucks is, that's how 99% of people's brains are functioning. Their antenna is basically broken, so they can't tune into the right frequency to manifest God's blessings. But it's not your fault. Mountains of scientific research confirm that our brains are wired for negativity which makes it impossible to manifest God's blessings. It's like your brain came from the factory with a broken antenna. Our brains have antennas? I asked quizzingly. Not physical antennas that you can see, but they basically work the same way. Your brain needs to be at a certain frequency to be able to manifest God's blessings, and both sides need to be at this exact frequency for it to work. I'm sure you've heard of left-brain people and right-brain people before? I nodded along. Well. That's because the brain basically has two sides, but people use one side more than the other. Artists and creative type folks use the left side of their brain, while analytical type people like engineers and accountants are dominant on the right side of the brain. But in order to manifest the way Jesus talked about, your brain needs to vibrate at a certain frequency called theta, or as I call it, the God frequency. And if both sides aren't vibrating at this exact frequency, it's like trying to get reception on your car radio with no antenna. Just like Jesus talked about in the letter to his brother. You see, back then, they used meditation and prayer. Some of Jesus' greatest miracles were performed after he famously went to the desert to fast for 40 days. That's because he spent 40 days meditating and getting his brain in perfect balance at the exact right frequency. And here's the thing. That was over 2,000 years ago before all the technology and overwhelm of modern times that keeps our brains even further out of balance and out of tune, making it harder than ever to put our brains at the God frequency. But in order to manifest the way Jesus talked about in the Bible and in his secret teachings, your brain must be tuned to this very specific God frequency. Now, there are people who can put their brain into theta after mastering high-level meditation. Jesus and his disciples did it in biblical times, but most people aren't able to accomplish this, even if they're too proud to admit it. But thanks to modern technology, there is an easier way to change the frequency of your brain, a way that takes all the work out of it. It's a simple 15-minute daily routine that I've adopted, and it's as easy as sitting in your favorite easy chair and popping on a set of headphones for 15 minutes. There's literally no work required. Even researchers at Harvard University admit that this is a legit method for manipulating cortical synchronization, and that you can take advantage of the brain's response after using this method. 
You see, this solution requires a certain type of sound wave therapy, commonly called binaural beats. Basically, binaural beats are two different tones with slightly different frequencies, one for each ear, so you need to use stereo headphones. When listening to these two different tones, your brain receives them as a beat frequency, hence the beat part of binaural beats. And that's when your brain is manipulated for cortical synchronization, which is just a fancy way of saying that the vibrations in your brain are synced to a certain frequency. And that's exactly what you need to be able to make your manifestations reality. Both sides need to be synced up, but at the God frequency. Listening to binaural beats makes synchronizing your brain effortless. It takes all the work out of it. All you have to do is pop your earbuds in and listen. Your brain will automatically be synced up, which is a lot easier than mastering meditation. Because if you're like me, you struggle mightily trying to meditate. And 99% of people can't reach a balanced state through meditation alone anyway, much less reach the exact frequency required to manifest God's blessings. That's why binaural beats have so much potential. Sound waves are powerful enough to do all the work for you. Imagine hitting the button to automatically tune into your favorite radio station rather than having to tune in manually. What if you could tune into the God frequency on command at the push of your favorite channel button? Well, as you're about to discover, the power of sound waves are that powerful. Just think about what happens when you hear the sound of a siren from a police car or fire truck. Those sound waves create a physical reaction in your brain, which increases cortisol production in your body, the stress hormone that psychology today refers to as public enemy number one, and how the calming sounds of nature have the exact opposite effect, calming you and reducing cortisol production in your brain. But sound wave therapy is finally starting to catch on. I was recently reading an article from Science Daily talking about the positive effects that sound therapy is having on patients. And famed scientist Nikola Tesla, one of the most successful and innovative inventors of all time, knew the power of vibration, sound waves, and frequencies. After seeing the secret teachings from Jesus and knowing that sound wave therapy is proven to work, I went on a personal mission to use this powerful method to tune my brain into what I called the God frequency. Binaural beats seemed to be a promising breakthrough, but none of the beats I came across could put my brain at the God frequency that Jesus talked about in his secret teachings. So I went on a personal mission to create the exact binaural beats that would put me at the frequency required to manifest God's blessings. And since my brother is a sound engineer who graduated from the prestigious Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, I brought him on my mission to help develop the perfect beat. Now, I knew the frequency had to be in the theta range between 3.5 and 7.5 hertz. But that was such a broad range. If we use the radio station analogy again, that range would be big enough to get country stations, R&B stations, rock stations, and probably at least one talk radio station. We needed to pinpoint a very specific frequency in order to tap into the manifestation channel. To do that, we needed the God frequency. After months of using algorithms to try and find the right frequency, my sound engineer was ready to give up. We worked night and day but couldn't find the tone we were looking for. My engineer was starting to doubt that the God frequency even existed, but I'd seen it with my own two eyes right there at the Vatican. We decided to give it one more week before taking a break because he had another sound wave project to work on with a famous scientist. On the very last day, before my brother was to catch a flight back to Boston, it hit me like a ton of bricks. There was a clue in Jesus' secret teachings that contained the answer. I couldn't believe that I hadn't picked up on it before. There was a secret code that revealed a number, but it went much deeper than what we were looking into initially. This number was so specific that we would probably have never found it with our algorithm. We simply weren't looking that deep. I called my brother up, hardly able to contain my excitement. When I told him my theory, he seemed skeptical, but I convinced him to drag himself out of bed and come over to create the God frequency. I popped in my earbuds and tried it for the first time, but had a massive headache from all the stress and long hours I was putting in. So I decided to try and manifest the headache away. Well, after my first session of listening to the God tone, my intense headache quickly started fading. 
Within minutes, the pain was gone completely. Was this proof that we had finally found the secret frequency that Jesus talked about in his secret teachings? We needed some more testing to know for sure. So I committed to making this sound bath a 15-minute daily habit. What followed was proof for me that we had discovered the God frequency. The next day, I decided to manifest away a stain in the carpet. Easy enough, right? As I put in my earbuds and started my sound bath, I just knew that it would work. I had faith. Fifteen minutes later, I opened my eyes and turned off the God frequency. I looked over, and the stain was still there. I felt my heart sink. Was I mistaken? I was so sure that we had finally found the right frequency to tune into God's blessings. Just as I was starting to doubt the whole mission, there was a knock at the door. It was a professional carpet cleaner who wanted to clean the carpets in one of my rooms for free. And just like that, my stain was gone. I was in awe of God's methods. We'd always heard that God works in mysterious ways, but this was something to behold. I've been doing the simple 15-minute daily habit for a week now, and I was just able to manifest this coffee as you walked in. That was almost three years ago. That ex-priest, Jacob, is now my business partner. But I rarely see him these days since one of us is almost always traveling. Now that my kids want me in their lives again, I'm making up for lost time, and I'm doing all the things I really wanted to do with my life, like take my kids to Australia, Fiji, and Thailand, and, well, you get the point. See, after I met Jacob in the coffee shop that day, I started doing the simple 15-minute daily habit too, and my life started changing for the better right away after seeing the unmistakable proof that the God frequency is real and works like gangbusters. All of our friends wanted to know how we created such a dramatic change in our lives. And that's when we decided to create the sound bath that I'm sharing with you today. Introducing the God Frequency Binaural Beats, or just the God Frequency for short. This sound bath is a shortcut to balancing your brain at the exact frequency you need to manifest God's blessings. It's the only binaural beat that was engineered according to a code found in Jesus' secret teachings. Plus, we went to great lengths to record the highest quality nature sounds found on this planet. We sent our sound team to the most remote places on Earth to record the purest nature sounds possible, so that you are listening to the sound of God while you manifest the life you've always dreamed of. Since we put it on the market just a few short years ago, thousands of people have manifested a better life for themselves, even though they all came from different backgrounds and had different life goals. I'll share some of those real-life success stories with you in a minute. But I know what you're probably thinking right now. Could I be the next person to manifest the life of my dreams? And the answer is a resounding yes. Whether it's a better job or career, improved relationships, a romantic partner, more wealth and income, a better place to live, repaired relationships with your children or ex, a reliable car, or whatever else your heart desires, the God frequency will work for you. Because if you're anything like me, you need to make up for lost time. And the best part? All the work is taken out of it, making it effortless to manifest your dream life without having to master meditation, without spending tons of money on material things that won't fill a hole in your soul, without trying to numb yourself with medication or alcohol. And you won't waste tens of thousands of dollars and hours upon hours of your precious time at a therapist's office. Just see what these real-life clients are saying about their experience with the God Frequency. I'm finally noticing the subtle signs of the universe. Ever since I started using this, I've been more aware of blessings that are available. Just the other day, I won a few hundred dollars in the lottery simply because I saw a sign. Then yesterday, I got a call back for a job interview saying that I'd been hired, and it comes with a 50% pay raise. This cannot be by random chance. Janet P., Macon, Georgia. I even manifested my dream girlfriend. I'll admit I was pretty skeptical when I started this, but man, am I a believer now. I've always had such terrible luck with women. My past relationships were all unhealthy and miserable. But after starting small, I've been able to manifest the woman of my dreams. We've only been dating for three months, but I'm already thinking she's the one. I've never been happier in my life. Brandon J., Omaha, Nebraska. I feel a sense of purpose again. Now that I've been able to manifest a happier and more comfortable life for myself, I feel like I have a reason to live again. My life has done a complete 180. I can't tell you how good it feels to want to live again. Thank you. 
Karen B., Las Vegas, Nevada. Imagine sitting in the comfort of your own home, in your favorite easy chair, but instead of working to try and meditate, you simply pop in a set of earbuds and let the God frequency automatically put your brain at the exact frequency required to manifest God's blessings. All you have to do is think about the changes you want in life while listening to the God frequency. This is how you manifest the blessings that Jesus talked about. And because you're already tuned into the right frequency, there's no work involved. Do this 15-minute daily habit for three weeks and simply watch your life transform into a fairy tale right before your eyes. But if you want this incredible power at your fingertips, then you must hurry. Because every time I put this information on the internet, the church is hot on my tail. They do not want this information to get out to the general public. When we first started sharing this information a few years ago, Jacob was hunted down by the church as if he were a dangerous terrorist. Men in black suits would show up with cease and desist letters and threats to take more serious action if we didn't stop sharing this life-transforming breakthrough. But alas, the church is on to us again. For our own safety, we will have to take this offer down in the very near future. This may very well be the last time you'll have the chance to get the God frequency to use for yourself. So if there's even a small chance that you'd be interested in manifesting a better life for yourself starting immediately, then I urge you to claim your recording of the God frequency right now while it's still available. Because after discovering these secret teachings by Jesus, and seeing just how amazing and fulfilling life can be once you're able to tune in to God's blessings, I made it my personal mission to get this to as many people as possible. While the church doesn't make it easy for me, I'm a living example of how powerful the God frequency can be. I was literally on the way to buying a rope to hang myself with when I stumbled onto this discovery. And now I live in a beachside house with my kids and dream girlfriend, but only when we aren't traveling to the world's most exotic locations. Just like I always dreamed of. I literally manifested the life that I always wanted. And I want to do the same for you starting today. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Well, something this powerful is probably going to cost me an arm and a leg. And I'll admit I could charge $10,000 and up for the God frequency simply because of how powerful it can be to create the life of your dreams, full of happy relationships, excellent health, and anything else you need to live your best life. Not to mention the costly investment of capturing the purest theta sounds possible. But if I charged what the God frequency was worth, I wouldn't be able to help out the neediest people in our society. And the church would win in the end because very few people would have access to this powerful secret. So I brought the price way down, simply so I can get this secret out to as many people as possible. Which is why if you click the button below to buy the God Frequency today, you'll only pay $37, which is a mere fraction of what it would cost you to pay for a meditation guru to train you how to master meditation, which is just hard work anyway, without any guaranteed success. And it's no secret that therapists can cost thousands of dollars per session for what I consider a band-aid fix anyway, since you're simply accepting your pathetic fate instead of manifesting the life you really want. The same goes for those pills that stop working too. I know I've personally spent tens of thousands of dollars on prescription medication in my lifetime, all just to numb the pain and never living up to my expectations. So I think you'll agree $37 is a small price to pay for something that can actually fix the root cause of your problems. And this isn't for some woo-woo new age stuff either. The power of sound waves is starting to gain attention at the highest level institutions on planet Earth. Even Harvard University is starting to catch on to the power of sound waves. And of course, I'm not sure if this page will even be on the internet for another day the way the church has been on our tail. So I urge you to take advantage of this special opportunity now by clicking the button that's below this video right now and placing your order while this page is still in existence. Once you've hit the button below, you'll be taken to our 100% safe and secure checkout page, where you'll enter your order information and credit card number. And as soon as you hit the order button, your digital recording of the God frequency will be available for download immediately, which means you save another $9.99 on shipping, and you don't have to wait for a physical package to be mailed to your home. All you have to do then is pop in your headphones or earbuds and listen. But that's not all. When you order the God Frequency today, I'm going to throw in a special bonus. It's a special binaural beat that I've developed specifically for manifesting better relationships, a $199 value. I call it the Love Frequency. You see, your brain has been programmed over the years to think that you are broken. 
If you've ever been through failed relationships, then your brain starts to subliminally program itself for defense, blaming yourself for all the failures and putting up a wall around your emotions, not letting new people into your life, because deep down you fear that you will screw it up. But these thoughts are just toxic programming that can be changed. That's why I've decided to include the love frequency as a special bonus. Whether you want to get your ex back after a painful breakup, because deep down you know that you are meant for each other, even though it didn't work out the first time, or maybe you want to start a new relationship after a divorce or breakup, but are afraid of making yourself vulnerable again, or if you're simply looking to improve any existing relationship in your life, whether it is with your spouse, your family, friends, or coworkers, but don't know where to start. The love frequency will help your brain get past those nasty emotional scars. So, if you want to get your hands on these life-altering manifestation tools, I'd advise you to click the button below to start your order now in case we are forced to take this page down again, so that you can join the thousands of people who have manifested a better life thanks to God's blessings. Look, we wouldn't be constantly hounded by the church if this wasn't effective. Plus, when you place your order from this website today, you'll be backed by our 365-day, 100% money-back guarantee. Here's how it works. Simply click the button that's below this video you're watching right now and place your order for the God Frequency. Once you download your recording of the God Frequency to your computer or smartphone, I want you to start doing the simple 15-minute daily habit right away for at least 21 days straight. There is no doubt in my mind that once you add the simple 15-minute daily habit to your life, that you will be a fine-tuned manifestation machine ready to accept God's blessings just as it's meant to be. And I'm sure that like me, you'll keep doing the simple 15-minute daily habit for life. But if for any reason that turns out not to be the case, and you're not completely satisfied with your life after manifesting God's blessings into your life over the next year, simply shoot us an email and we'll refund 100% of your investment, no questions asked. Which means that when you click the button below this video to place your order today, you're basically just signing up to take the God frequency on a test drive along with the Love Frequency bonus track. And you've got a full year to experience what life can be like before you have to decide if you want to continue using this simple 15-minute daily habit. I've decided to shoulder all the responsibility here so that I can help as many people as possible while this internet page still exists, which probably won't be long. So click the button below this video and place your order with zero risk to you because you're backed by our 365-day, 100% money-back guarantee. This is the end of today's video. You are now at a crossroads, and you have a choice to make. You can ignore everything you've heard today and continue living life the way you've been, accepting whatever the universe throws your way, wishing you could do all the things you've really wanted to do with your life, while barely scraping by. And if that's the route you want to take, then that's on you. But I think you and I both know that you landed on this page for a reason. So let me ask you something. If all the Band-Aid fixes like booze, revolving door relationships, job changes, and prescription drugs haven't transformed your life in the past. If it feels like you're constantly spinning your wheels and you've already spent a few decades of your life feeling unfulfilled, then what's going to be different if you don't take action today? You and I both know that you're going to get the same results until you try something new. And I think that the fact that you're even here today is a clear sign that you need to try something new. And that something is the God frequency that I told you about in this video. So click the button underneath this video and try it for yourself 100% risk-free for the next 365 days. Still here? I don't blame you. We covered a lot in today's video. So I'm going to go ahead and answer some of the most common questions that we get about the God frequency. Question. I haven't been to church in years. Will the God frequency work for me? Answer, yes. If you have your hearing and a set of earphones or earbuds, the God frequency will work for you, even if you've never considered yourself spiritual a day in your life. Question. How come I've never seen the God frequency in the Bible? Answer. Jesus revealed the code for the God frequency in secret letters to his brothers that have been covered up by the church for over 2,000 years. I made it my life's mission to make this powerful tool available to you today. Question. I'm on the fence about buying the God Frequency. Will it still be the same price next week? Answer. While I have no plans to raise the price of the God Frequency, I cannot guarantee that this page will be here once you leave today. 
As I've mentioned, the church has been hounding me about this and they do not want this information to be public. If you even think you might be interested, I'll advise you to claim your recording of the God Frequency today. Plus, you're backed by a one-year, 100% money-back guarantee. So you've got nothing to lose because I'm putting all the risk on my shoulders, making this a no-brainer. Question, are you really giving me the love frequency for free when I place my order? Answer, yes. I normally charge $199 for this powerful track, but it's yours free when you place your order today. Combined with the God Frequency, this order is worth well over $1,000, making this $37 offer a steal for anyone who lands on this page. Click the button below this video to claim yours today.